Welcome to Blue Box PHP tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to demonstrate the uh, file upload and uh, file image types. Uh, so first thing we'll do is uh, load our demo project. So you can see in the website we've got two pages. We have an index page which is the shop itself and we also have an admin page. The admin page um, it's purely just the data table, jewelry data table dropped into the admin page and kept as a table view. So as you can see here, products in the table in a in a table format. And we want to add a new product. We put the code, set the category, put the description, the price in. At the moment image is just a text box. And that's what this uh, this tutorial is going to um, concentrate on now. So if we open up the add box, the Jura table add box, and we select image, what we're going to do is from the select item type is select file upload. Now file upload, if it's just going to be a normal file upload such as a PHP file or a zip file, then we don't need to bother with any of this below here. We can just set the name of the folder it's going to go into. This, if this folder doesn't exist it's created at the uh, uh, time that the page is rebuilt. We say we're not, we want a unique uh, it'd be a unique file name that adds a timestamp to the file name and also we can put here a list of uh, allowed extensions uh, for the JavaScript to test. So if you were testing an image type you'd test maybe .jpeg, .png and .gif, uh, .gif in this sort of format, but these could be any, you could just check for dot, um, .zip and the dollar sign but in this demonstration we're actually looking at uh, uploading an image type so we leave the unique file name because we also want to keep that and we select upload an image and we know images directory, we have two user directories. We have the jury directory and inside the jury directory we have the thumbs directory. So in the item manager we want to the main image we want to upload select the upload folder as image jury. We can resize the upload uh, we can resize the image on upload so we'll select that and we want to make the main image a width of 500 and resize the height to 430. We can reformat the image on upload. As we're only uploading, as we're only going to select uh, .jpegs, we don't need to do that, but you can format it to change the format to the format you require. And also for JPEG only, we can also set the image set the image quality that we want the image to res to be resampled at. Now in the jewelry demo, obviously we're using thumbnails again. So we'll select create thumbnails. I want to create a thumbnail image. I want to put the thumbnail image into the image jewelry thumbs, which is a subdirectory of image jewelry. And our thumbnail size is 200 by 172. Now there are other features that we can add to an image on upload. We can add copyright text, we can add watermarks, and we can add frame image frames. But for now, we'll just we can test how this uh, how this format and what the upload image actually look like. So if we come to our preview button and select test image, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into our jewelry shop assets, jewelry, and we're going to select an image. We can select any image, but we'll select that one. And if we now select the preview image button and select the browser, we can now see that the image has been. So we have the original image size, 17978. Our resized and resampled image, which is now 9406 bytes, without any much, without very much loss. And we have a thumbnail image. 
be one byte and that looks that looks quite good just a, a demo some of the other features if we uh, add a copyright text to our image now we'll just leave it as my copyright you can set the positioning of it you can set the color you want it to be and you can set the font size in pixels but if we just uh, select preview the image again and go to the browser we can now see copyright text has been added to our image doesn't add to the thumbnail image only to the large size the main image and if we go back again let's say an image frame we'll make it we'll put a 10 pixel black border around the image if we preview the image now and go to browser we can see how it's bordered original large thumbnail isn't bordered all these and other samples are all made to the larger image we can also add a binding effect such as this to give a binding effect but for this demonstration we don't need either of them ok so our image type is now set if we now rebuild our admin page and select ok so we'll now test adding a new product we'll just give it a code of test we'll select uh, I'll tell it's an earring type but we'll actually we'll add if we go to our jewelry shop assets jewelry and we'll just select any of the necklaces description new product price 10 and we submit that if we now go to the last page we can see there's our product in test new product at 10 units of 10 and if we go back to our home page to our index page and rebuild it if we go to the last page so here's our new product ten dollars and if we look at the detail you can see that we've got the large image new product product code close if we just now go back to the image just to prove that the uh, all the features work we'll switch the copyright text and the binding effect on we'll rebuild the image rebuild our admin page go to our last item and we'll edit this item so this is our current one what we'll do is we'll select a different necklace just to change it we just submit the button go to our last page yep the file has been updated and if we now build our index page last page and view the details of this product you can see we have the border, the binding and the copyright text ok that concludes this tutorial on the file upload type and image type and some of the features you can set including thumbnail sizes and uh, other binding effects